you want to learn how to make a super easy bow tie inlay jig from scraps, let's get started. I designed this jig to uh, fit my table saw sled. I do have plans for that as well on here. I just used a couple of eight to 10 inch end cuts of two by four and a scrap piece of uh, one by two. Uh, what you see me doing here is I'm just putting some CA glue on with some activator just to hold that in place so I can go ahead and get to work on this. I'm just gonna hold it for a few seconds and then I'm ready to start drilling. Just drilling out my pilot hose, a little bit of a countersink here. Um, you can use just regular wood screws for this. An inch and a quarter wood screw will work just fine. And now I'm just going to kind of center the jig uh, with the blade, uh, but keep in mind that you will be cutting at an angle. Um, so I have a little bit of offset there. And I'm just putting a couple of screws in the back uh, to hold this jig into place. And I'm actually using the same screw holes that I use uh, for my box joint jig. Now for this first one, you need to lay out your bow tie, how uh, large you would like it. Um, onto your material and actually find the angle that, uh, that you have preferred for, uh, for your build. Uh, set that angle to your, uh, to your table saw blade and now I'm going to find the center of that bow tie and raise the blade up uh, to match almost center. You don't want to cut all the way through. And just using a simple spring clamp, I'm going to line it up with the edge of my material and the, uh, the edge of the angle that you've set. I'm gonna make my first cut. And now we'll just rotate and uh, repeat that first cut. Um, something to notice is that once you have uh, your angle and your height for this bow tie, it will be the exact same if you've done everything right. It'll be the exact same for every single angle. Um, so once you have marked your first bow tie and you know the, uh, the degrees and the angle for that blade, you shouldn't have to lay it out anymore. As long as the material that you're uh, cutting more bow ties out of are the exact same width and uh, height. When using your table saw to keep a nice clean edge, on the inside of the bow tie, you wanna make sure to leave these little tabs. Uh, those can easily just be broke off and uh, the excess sanded down or cut off. But once you have this all set up, you can mark your jig and get everything ready to make uh, more bow ties. Um, I usually like to make several of the same size just to keep on hand uh, while I have everything set up. And you can repeat this for, uh, you know, smaller bow ties. Uh, the only thing that you would have to do is uh, bring the table saw blade down a bit uh, to match the top of your uh, material that you're cutting. And what I like about this jig is that it's super simple. You can accumulate a nice collection of bow ties for your projects and it's removable. So you just take it off of your sled and stored away for uh, the next time that you want to cut some bow ties. I like to write on the top of my jig the angles um, that I've used for these bow ties, and that makes setup next time even faster. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe.